so this is my lips. Look at how my lips look, you guys. It was painful. Yeah. Um, what part of your cycle you're on. Mm -hmm. I noticed that anytime like our clients are around their period, mm -hmm. they tend to have a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, they feel it more. Mm -hmm. I think it's because it's just like a foreign area. Mm -hmm. like, and it's you have not tattoos? Yeah. Yeah, it's a different pain though. I'm mm -hmm. fully loaded and I'm still a baby whenever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you do feel anything during the procedure, mm -hmm. I'll just, I'm going to check up on you periodically. Mm -hmm. But if you do feel like, any discomfort and you can't handle it, mm -hmm. just let me know and okay. then I'll re-numb you with the numbing gel. The secondary numbing gel will mm -hmm. numb you up real, real quick. So for your lips too, it might take a couple of sessions. Like mm -hmm. I said, um, if it takes one more session, we're going to have to work something out for you. Mm -hmm. so, if, so you want it to kind of where that volume of your lip tip is right here. You want it to come up to here. Look up to here. That's what you mm -hmm. want, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna have to line this up and then we'll match it on top and we'll do it like a, a color on it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take a couple of sessions for us to get to that point. But like this for me? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna work on your top lip first, mm -hmm. and then go ahead. Keep it so it's gonna be a little tender, okay? Mm -hmm. I've been told also I have a really light hand. Oh no, you can't really respond because I'm holding your mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Open your mouth a little bit. There you go. is looking already like so good. I've been getting a lot of clients that come in for this procedure actually. Mm -hmm. It's really rewarding for me to do it. So people get so happy at the end. Do you guys only do permanent makeup here? Um, we do lashes. Mm -hmm. We do, um, we have an esthetician that does like facials, laser mm -hmm. hair removal, um, fibroblast that's been getting a lot of popularity. Mm -hmm. I've seen lighter already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bottom lip usually like tends to lighten up, from my experience at least, a lot quicker than the top lip. So who, who can get this when, um, like you know, when you're darker skin and you mm -hmm. have more pigmented lips? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, what do you suggest for people that are darker, like, when they're trying to get this? Is it just, like, a couple of sessions? It honestly depends on how um, deep the cool coolness in the client's lips are mm -hmm. and their skin type. Um, mm -hmm. Some clients, they get it and immediately you see results and mm -hmm. other times it might take a couple of sessions. That's why when we spoke earlier, mm -hmm. I tried to let you know, like, and be up for, like, up for, uh, up front and... Honest yeah, let you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honest about it. Cause it does. It, it's everybody's a little bit different, you know, and that's the beauty mm -hmm. of being human. But um, sometimes it'll take one session, and then we can put the lip blushing color of what the client wants right mm -hmm. away. And then other times it might take like one session to two sessions. 
a lot of the times I have clients come in and their original idea in their mind is to get lip blushing mm -hmm. and I tell them about this procedure mm -hmm. and after they healed they don't ever come back to the lip blushing because they love the color because it's so nice and pink So this is the color correcting, right? Mm -hmm. Not the color blushing yet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to let them know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, because my lips are darker, mm -hmm. you have to, they have to color correct it first, mm -hmm. and then blush them later. Yes. Because you want to blink out the canvas, you know. Like I said, told you before, mm -hmm. clients with like blue tone lips, we think of it as like construction paper just like the best example I give to my student mm -hmm. is that we have blue construction paper and like white construction paper on the white construction paper the color will pop out right away the true natural color but if you put the same pigment that you put on the white construction paper on the blue you're always going to see that blue undertone and sometimes um, if you put certain pigments on top of that blue tone it'll actually make your lips darker So what is the healing process on it? Lips actually heal really quickly. Mm -hmm. So the first day you're going to be a little tender mm -hmm. and swollen. And then you just start seeing, uh, seeing like the healing process mm -hmm. within like two days. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you're going to just want to put a bunch of Aquaphor. Your lips are going to be a little dry, so Aquaphor is going to be your best friend. Mm -hmm. And you just put that on three times a day. Keep your lips moist. And then by the third day, when you're starting to peel, mm -hmm. you should see the tone of the lip pigment show. So can I go to the gym with all this stuff? Like <laughs> <laughs> you can. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't think you should do like any heavy exercises. Mm -hmm. um, when you do, just put a thick coat of Aquaphor just to kind of like make a barrier, mm -hmm. so you don't get any germs or sweat in it. Because okay. sweat can pull out the pigment. Okay. It's red now. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. What you're gonna really need is like a little bit of um, chapstick, and you'll be good. Mm -hmm. Look at these lips, y'all. <laughs> Look at these lips. <laughs> Putting everything out a little bit more and done. Like I said before, you're gonna look a little bit orangey. You're gonna have a little orange tint to yourself. Mm -hmm. That's gonna all start to fade away as you start peeling. Mm -hmm. And then by the second day, you're gonna start peeling. And then all that natural, like pinkish tone is gonna start showing up. Okay. Yeah. But let's see how you heal. Okay. I have a feeling we might need one more mm -hmm. just to get it packed in because mm -hmm. you have pretty cool lips, <laughs> cool tone lips, you know? Yeah. So if we want to get that nice light base, we might need one more session. Okay. Let's Before play. the blushing? Mm-hmm. But we can work out a um, package deal or something for you if that's the case. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm gonna uh, take a video if you don't mind. Okay, don't. Have you ever seen your lips this big before? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> like it. <laughs> <laughs> Now the bottom lip is getting bigger. Mm -hmm. 
This numbing gel, I'm gonna send it with you, on you. Okay. Uh, a little bit on you, so like first you don't feel the pain, and then mm -hmm. it, help, it helps with like swelling too. Okay. Mm -hmm. You smile. Awesome. So this is my lips. Look at how my lips look, you guys. It's crazy. But the color is dope. Look at the color. <laughs>